Good afternoon. This is Dr. Bill White again with the American Orthodontic Society. And uh, I have a very interesting case. I've done a video on this case a few years ago, but I don't think that I really realized what a uh, example this case is and so I'm going to do it over again and I think it's uh, worth that. This is a case that would stand on its own even if it wasn't for this abscess tooth that it has. But the abscess tooth makes it a unusual case and so I want you to see what can be done with abscess teeth. Uh, it's amazing. And I, I don't know if anybody uh, recognizes this lady and can uh, find her again. I would love her to call me and I would like to see how this tooth is doing. It's been about 24 years since we uh, did this and I have uh, I checked her for about six years there, and I'll go over this uh, with you. Uh, it's a, I'll try not to spend too much time, but I'm kind of carried away with the, uh, the results of this uh, case. Uh, here is the lady. This uh, uh, These pictures were taken in 89, and uh, this is too light and everything. The facial structure doesn't, reveal the problem that we have here but <clears throat> excuse me as soon as you uh, open her mouth and you look in there you see i mean it is a closed bite case i mean these uh, these upper anterior teeth come down to here somewhere and in addition to that of course it's class two uh, this the class two relationship between the teeth, and then here is an abscess tooth that pops up and down, and it, uh, you can push on this tooth and it'll go down, and so when she chews, it bounces back and forth, and I'm sure it pumps bacteria into the uh, bloodstream as well as. Uh, pus this doesn't sound too good into the uh, mouth you know so anyway I, i'm gonna show that this may turn your stomach on some of you but this is something we need to know that you can do these things now here if this closes too you see these cusps hit down here on this and these teeth go down about that far too see and so the case is closed uh, the closed bite situation and then it's class two and we're going to straighten and those things would make it a interesting case but the uh, the abscess tooth makes it really interesting uh, now here i'm going to run through and show you this this is the upper arch now and it's I think these teeth right on this side are the ones that meet this abscess uh, tooth. Uh, the upper is kind of collapsed in. You, you can see that. So we're going to expand the arch. We expand nearly every body's arch. I mean, it doesn't matter whether they're uh, 10 or 12 years old or, or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 and 80 and I think I could do it with a 90 year old so uh, that's something that can be done now here is a view uh, that I'm going to show you this tooth is elevated above the height of the other teeth and you can push on it here and you see this little part right here uh, you can get pus to come out of that so it never made pressure on her and she was able to tolerate it over these years i mean she's been using this thing so uh, apparently her body is uh, so immune to the, the bacteria produced in here that it's uh, hasn't bothered her that much or we don't know that it hasn't but uh, it could cause some valve problem in the heart or whatever but uh, you need to get rid of that so let's 
going as quick as I can here. Now here is the third panorex we took, and you can see we've already done a root canal on the tooth, but that's not way it, the way it was when we started. It did not have a root canal done. So here's a close-up, and here's the place where it drained. Right there, it, it came out. Let me uh, go on here. Now here is a view of the tooth, and this is what gave me the idea that we could save this tooth. <coughs> this is not a periodontal abscess, you see. See this decayed part around the tooth? Got over in here and killed the nerve of this tooth. And then over a period of time, we had a opening like that in it. And now it was draining over here. So the thing that started this is uh, underneath this filling, it leaked in there and killed the nerve, and then the bacteria comes down here and makes a big deal. And finally, I'm sure this was time when this tooth hurt and the pressure and everything, but once it broke to the outside, it apparently did not uh, bother her. So, in that case, if you come in and sterilize the root structure in here and put a good uh, root canal filling in it and fill this thing and get it where there are no there's no source of bacteria from this side then this will heal up and fill in around here and you watch it do that and then we got this tooth down you can actually move a tooth that's got a root canal uh, treatment and you can push it but when we did the root canal and everything we pushed down on this and it got to where it stayed down during the treatment now here we'll go through the treatment it's just regular orthodontics but we've opened the bite we use the intruding arches you know and pull them raise these pull these down and leveled it out and now this is a rectangular arch in here and we got a few class 2 elastics that we used and pulled it out of that but when you open the bite frequently the jaw will just move forward and you won't have any uh, class 2 problem with it at all so these are things that are just a uh, regular orthodontics set I've uh, covered in many, many, many videos, and so uh, you can go back it if you want to know something about that. Now, these are single brackets, and we've got these little hooks. You see, we put the hook down so that when you're pulling, the, the rectangle in here is more, and you don't have much vertical com component in it. It's mostly all uh uh, lateral, I mean, coming in from the long pull here, you have very little tendency to pull the teeth down and raise these up back here. But we used some class 2 elastics, but we didn't have to use much. And uh, the class 2 cor almost corrects itself. Now, this is 90, and we're in here we're expanding this gradually and working on it and i'm going to try to run through it as quick as we can and not take too much of your time now this once we fill this thing and got the uh, root canals done good this abscess out here began to go away and uh, i'm not sure i'm sure the endodontist used some antibiotics to help in doing this, but the thing that I'm going to uh, put up to you here is, is it better to do this, or should you extract it and put an implant in there? Uh, my thinking is, it's better to use this, and uh, you can if you can sterilize it and get it cleaned up and you watch how the bone filled in this around that hole that we had in that tooth. Okay, here the teeth are and began. We put the brackets down on the 
bottom right on the gum line and you just don't hardly see much of the braces on the bottom arch you see and uh, put these up because you're going to see them anyway you know you're going to see them if they're clear brackets you've got still got to put a arch wire in there so anyway we've got it pretty well made on this part and i'm going to get to some uh pictures of this uh, uh, tooth that we did the implant and, and show you the bone structure on it here and here's the lady's facial structure again a good uh, deal and this is after we've removed the orthodontic appliance and everything and you can see the height of this tooth is right with the other teeth back here in the back of the mouth and I've got some pictures here that'll show you the bone structure. And we pull this uh, molar out to class one and got these teeth going down in the, the spots. See, this is headed right down in that. And so we've corrected the class two. In other words, you open the bite and this thing kind of move forward on its own. Uh, maybe you can see that on the video uh, picture. Uh, <clears throat> and that's just the regular orthodontics but this tooth being down like this now and the uh, root canal did a good job the endodontics uh, did the good good job with it and so here it is that's when we started well that's 92 that's after we've done that and here it is in 19 95 you see that's six years after we've done it and we started in 89 and now it's 895 and so that's six years and that tooth is still holding up the bite is still open everything's working class one all this and if anybody knows this lady i would love to her to call me i would love to get uh, some pictures of this tooth and that would be uh 95 that's five years in, in 19 so it'll it'll be about 24 years after this that we uh and see what that tooth has done that's most interesting to me all right here we we'll go ahead, this is 95, and I'm going to get into the x-rays. Now, there's the tooth after 90, I mean, after six years. Uh, it's sitting in there. It's got good bone on it. I'm going to show you in just a minute. All right, here's just a cephalometric uh, picture of her, and you can see that's when we started. This was 89 right here so she's got this abscess place underneath there but that goes away as soon as we do this we uh, having her jaw locked back like that she may have had a little bit of a tmj problem but when we've opened the bite and her jaw moved forward the condyle moves away from this retrodiscal tissue that forms the synovial fluid and you've been through this with me so many times uh, and uh, we don't have any jaw joint problem either so these are things that happen on the good side all right here is 1989 and here is a panrex of that tooth and it's sticking up above and every time this lady chews this thing goes down it leaks out up around here uh, on the, you could see that on that picture and so pus comes out here and it's pumped into the bloodstream and she must have gotten so uh, used to those bacteria that they weren't bothering her we don't think they did uh, it, that could set up a abscess somewhere in the bloodstream and in the heart and different uh, areas so you don't want that but we wanted to get rid of it so uh, we cleaned it out from this side and this just 
filled in. I've got some pictures in here somewhere uh, showing the bone underneath it. Now there we've done the root canal on the tooth. You can't see this one uh, too good there and that's not the best. But anyway, this is 93 and there's bone structure filled in here. I've got a pretty good pic. Yeah, here it is. All right, here's 93 and we've got a picture now. This is the same tooth now that had that abscess area all around here and now it's filled in with bone structure it's solid we have finished the case and everything and it was still holding after 95 and if anybody knows this lady i would love to find out if that tooth is still functioning after 24 more years in other words 24 and 6, in other words, it would be 30 years from the time we uh, did this. And so if anybody recognized this lady, I would really appreciate that. Now, the question is, is it better to do this, or is it better to go in there and uh, eliminate that tooth and do uh, the... Uh, implants. Uh, I I think my, my deal's gone out so I'm going to have to go uh, catch it over here somewhere. Uh, uh, anyway, I can't. I'm going to discard the stuff. Now, <coughs> we're through with the video really and we started out with a, let me put this on slideshow again. You get screwed up in this stuff. <laughs> and you get my age, you're not too sharp on moving this around like that. But anyway, we've finished this up and now the bone structure in there is good. You see where it's, uh, how it was when we started. And there's how it is after 95. Now, here it is from the front. And you see, you don't even see the the lower front teeth up here. But now there it is. The You see where we've opened the bite and all that. Let me get this uh, little marking pen. I have to write when I talk. I can't tell you anything. Uh, all right, now this, once we open the bite, then this moves forward, and this tooth right here will be somewhere like that, and this point will be going down in there, and this is coming down, because this will move out to where it's underneath that, and you can see that on this view here. Now, these teeth haven't really erupted together yet, but we put a retainer in there that will allow them to rub together and come in contact. But this is 95, and that tooth is as leveled with the rest of the teeth as it can be. And to me, I made the choice of saving this tooth rather than having her go have somebody extract it and give her some antibiotics or whatever it is, and then put an implant in here so the uh, root canal therapy itself, and it didn't require a crown or any of that. So it was much more economical for her to do it this way, but that's not why we did it. I just feel like this is the better way to do this. Now, if you uh, down the line, or if she's lost that tooth in 10 years or 15 years, they have to have an implant put in there okay uh, but I will bet you that that tooth right here is in her mouth 26 years at 2019 <laughs> I hope that if somebody finds her that it is since I've sworn to this and I think it's better to do the 
root canal and clean the thing up and get it done. Now, if this periodontal, this uh, abscess was coming in from the uh, gingival side had been started, in other words, then you couldn't do this. But since it originated from the inside of the tooth, we cleaned all that up and then the body got rid of the bacteria down there and the bone filled in and made this possible for us to do it. So I chose to do this and I hope that it works and I hope her tooth is still uh, going. Now look at look at the difference in the size of this arch. And people say, well, you can't uh, expand arches. This is crazy, man. I've expanded hundreds and hundreds of people's arches and put the retainers in and they stop wearing a retainer after a while. They don't shrink up and go back again. If they're functioning normal, the tongue keeps them out there. And that's the difference. Uh, look at the difference in that and the difference in this lower arch. Now, uh, this one has a three to three retainer on it. Well, that okay. Uh, keep a three to three retainer. Just keep them lined up. And here is the star of the program. I think it is better. And if I had this in my own mouth, that's what I would rather have this than have an implant. Now, you be the judge. Uh, I'm not telling you what to do, but that, to me, is a better way out than putting an implant in there and then crowning it and going through all that uh, to do that. That is, uh, implants are good, and you can't, if you don't have a tooth back there and you need one, the implant is the thing to do it's better than trying to put a cantilever bridge for sure so i i like implants but i like dentistry and i like my natural teeth too so i want to use them when i can and that's what we propose so i'm gonna hang this up and uh, uh thank you for uh watching and if you watch these and you get a benefit from them and you like it, I would love for you to uh, subscribe to our program. That's We need a lot of people subscribing to it. And I would appreciate your subscribing to our channel. So thank you. And I'm going to say goodbye and get this closed out. Thank you now. Bye-bye.